Best. Uh. 
What's up, Campbell Committee? My name is Ryan Stork, and I will be happily introducing Andrew Campbell and his accomplishments. Andrew has been a part of choir since sixth grade, and looking back, he wishes he joined sooner, but nonetheless, his choir experience was genuinely out of this world. He would like to thank his family for supporting him his whole life and being there for him through thick and thin, and to his friends who always know how to make him laugh and have kept him smiling throughout high school. Andrew hopes to continue his musical involvement at Rowan University, where he will major in psychology in hopes of becoming a therapist and minoring in music. He would like to end by telling everyone that no matter where your interests lie, it is always nice to step out of your comfort zone, because who knows where it will take you in the future. Thank you.
jazz. She likes spending time with her friends and shopping, and she plans, plans on working and going to cosmetology school after she graduates. Jazz is sad to see her 3 jazz performing days come to an end, but is really excited for her life ahead of her. Beatrice, known fondly as B, has been in choir since fourth grade and knew she loved it from the moment the choir sang Space Oddity by David Bowie. She enjoys music, long walks on the beach, and her cat, Missile Launcher. In the future, her mother plans on having B go to college. My name is Charlie Flynn, and I'm happily introducing Abby Venono. Abby has been in the 3HS choir for five years, and in second half for one year. She has enjoyed all of her time being a part of this program, and despite being upset about leaving, she's looking forward to all of her experiences in the future.
Akami, and I'm here to introduce Mariah DiStefano. Mariah is an incredibly devoted student to her schoolwork and dedicated most of her time to her studies. In her four years here at 3HS, Mariah has discovered her passion for singing. Mariah thanks all of her friends and family for their unconditional love and support and plans on attending the University of Pittsburgh, majoring in mechanical engineering. Here is Mariah.
Greetings and salutations to the wonderful audience here tonight. My name is Andrew Campbell, and I would like to congratulate Ryan Stork on his accomplishments. Ryan has been a member of choir since fourth grade and has enjoyed it thoroughly throughout these past seven years. He hopes to continue participating in choir in college. Ryan is planning to go to Rowan University starting this fall to major in computer science and minor in environmental science. If it weren't for his mom encouraging him to do choir in the first place, he likely wouldn't be here today. Therefore, he would like to thank his mom for jumpstarting his choir journey and to all his friends and family who have supported him throughout. <laughs> Elementary, middle school, and high school. Long live Stork Nation. This is Charlie's first year in the high school choir, but his short time in it was a very formative experience. He would like to thank Mr. Whitescarver for creating such a loving and welcoming environment, both in and outside of the classroom. He would also like to thank Mr. Shaw for encouraging him to do choir and being extremely supportive of him all, throughout all his years in concert band. Charlie will be attending Rowan University, majoring in music education. The song he will be performing reminds him of his marching band director, Mr. Robin Renninger. Charlie has been in the marching band and indoor percussion directed by Mr. Wren for five years out of over the 50 years that Mr. Wren has been the director. This performance is dedicated to the man who has helped to shape Charlie into a better musician, educator, and person, Mr. Robin Renninger. Yeah. 
just done. <laughs> Nate has been in choir since fourth grade and has enjoyed it thoroughly. With the help of his family and friends, he has gained the courage to be able to step out of the crowd by doing solos and even joining the Second Avenue Singers. The, th the friends Nate has made throughout choir are the ones that are sure to last. Nate Ross.
name is Beatrice Braga. I have come here today to warn you of great evil. There are aliens from planet SSB-1037 hurtling toward our planet at unthinkable speeds with the intention of wiping out humanity. In 12 days, they will arrive on planet Earth. And unless we take action, our human race will be exterminated. In other news, I will now introduce Chris and Kalinka. <laughs> Chris has been involved in choir at Heights on and off since fifth grade and has exhibited a great passion for music throughout high school. Having been involved in the theater program, choir, Second Avenue Singers, concert band, garage band, and other musical endeavors at Heights. <laughs> Chris plans to study music at Rowan University. <laughs> the old... <laughs> the old man is coming tonight. way to win is to bite. When he finds you, it will be no fun. Your only option will be to run. 578RL3QX. Chris spent a lot of time considering his song choice for tonight and landed on, landed on something that's just plain fun. He's accompanied by Beatrice Fragments and me, Di Costanzo on backup vocals. Kevin Kalingo on rhythm guitar, Harry Corbin on drums, Sebastian Cohen on bass, and Charlie Flynn on piano. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kelly has been a member of the choir since fourth grade and enjoyed her time spent performing. Her favorite choir memory was when the Philly fanatic kissed Mr. White Scarver, which funny enough was what she wrote as her favorite elementary school memory when graduating the sixth grade. She has to continue singing in college, although she isn't sure she'll have the time. Quinn plans to attend Ohio University, majoring in sports broadcasting and running Division I track and field. She would like to thank her friends and family for always coming out to support her throughout her time in 3HS choir and for always, encourages, and for always encouraging her despite her crippling stage fright. She apologizes in advance for her shaky voice, but in the end, she's still Sigma, and that's all that matters. <laughs>
All right, seniors, would you all come out on stage, please? each of you, and of course, that's just one of many. Uh, and when I, uh, when I tell you what it is, uh, John Anthony will give you your graduation cord to wear uh, at graduation, okay? It's the, it's the cord that senior choir members get to add when you're cap and gown, right? Sophia, I will miss your goodness. On top of all those talents, Dancing, singing, acting, academics, you are a kind, considerate person. Andrew, I will miss your friendliness. Everyone likes to be around you because you make everyone feel happy. Abby, oh, we're out of order because we changed things up. Okay. <clears throat> Abby, I will miss your attention to detail. You care that things are done correctly, you care that things are fair for everyone, and you care that the classroom looks great. As my third period classroom aide since September, you have helped me so much. B, I will miss your strength. You are a powerhouse. You have strength of character, conviction, and intellect. You have set the bar for future leaders in my class. Jazz. I will miss your explosive laugh. <laughs> it's the laugh that makes me laugh, which makes you laugh again, and we just get stuck in a cycle. You are simply fun to be around. Mariah. <clears throat> I will miss your voice and your personality because both are warm and beautiful. Ryan, I will miss your excellent question. <laughs> Which, did he have one tonight? Yes. <clears throat> when you have a question, it is usually because I failed to, to make something clear. Your questions benefit the entire choir. <clears throat> Charlie Flynn, I will miss your paradoxical talent and modesty. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe in a few years, we'll be lucky enough to have you back as a student teacher. Nate, I will miss our great conversations when you stay after school to help me, even though you have early out and you could go home. <laughs> How lucky am I that you would choose to spend the time with me? Nick, Nikki, I will miss your zen. <laughs> You are easygoing and a team player. You don't sweat the small stuff, and you exude positivity. You lower our collective blood pressure. <laughs> Chris, I will miss your passion. Sure, it gets you into trouble from time to time, but it is the fuel that has powered your remarkable growth. I'm so glad that we have had these last two years to make music together. Quinn, I will miss your professionalism. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> While you are often silly, sarcastic, and genuinely funny, you intuitively understand when it's time to focus and to perform. That's professionalism. Knowing when it's game time. I have always been able to count on you. Did Jay give you your chords? No. All right, well that wasn't planned exactly, but oh, here we go.
thank you to John and Anthony and all my crew members who helped this evening. Thank you so much for coming. And I'll see you at graduation.